Hey guys, what's going on? Ted here. We're doing another episode of Fiverr Filth today. That's right, baby. We're back. Take your ibuprofen. If you don't know what Fiverr.com is, it is a freelancing website where you can buy and sell gigs for more than $5. Oftentimes we find really crappy gigs. We find the shittiest of the shit. We find, we find some real, we find some real crap on this website. So we're going to be checking some of those out today. I will say anything you want as a redneck in a video. This thing on? How y'all doing? <laughs> name's Buford. Of course his name's Buford. Here to talk about whatever you want me to talk about. Your band, your music, your website. Maybe it's even a girl that you don't have the nerve to talk to. Guess what I do? I'm gonna do it for you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do all day long. What? Wait, what was that last thing he just said? Maybe it's even a girl that you don't have the nerve to talk to. Guess what I do? I'm gonna do it for you. Please no. Maybe it's a girl that you don't have the nerve to talk to. I would be so worried if someone sent a video from this guy to a girl that they've never talked to as an introduction. Why was that even listed in his examples? In what context would that make sense? I wanna, hey, I wanna kiss you. I wanna pucker up, lady, baby. Travis, he's interested in you, so buckle on up. Sugar cake, sugar thang, baby cake, sugar, sugar titty. Travis wants to take you on a date. Yeah, I'm interested in dating Sarah, but I don't really know how to talk to her. And I've never spoken to her before. And she actually doesn't even know who I am. I haven't introduced myself. But I think I know the place to solve my problem. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do all day long. This fiver is bam. Filthy. I will deliver an exclusive message as Boatman. Oh yeah, baby. This is a fire classic right here. Hello everyone, this is the Boatman. And I can say anything that you want for up to 50 words. I can sing a song, give a birthday wish or a testimony. For more info, check out the listing below. The first thing that strikes me about this gig is how insanely specific the demographic that this guy is targeting. He's targeting people who need a testimonial video from a guy in a blow up raft situated inside a living room. I couldn't tell you what person would need this in the first place, but I have to really applaud his grind here. He's done 80 deliveries, so clearly there is a market. We have no doubt that this man isn't in water. That point, we don't need to even discuss that. He's clearly in a living room, but he still makes a point of doing a really half-ass rowing motion as if he is in water, or we're gonna be like, oh, Boatman's Boatman's at it again, going fast. He's Boatman, you can't stop Boatman. Just what I was looking for. I've never met someone who was like, hey man, can you get me a video of a guy in a living room on a blow up raft rowing kind of half ass? I need it for a, for, for business testimonial. I will be your professional male model. Now we got a couple of these male models from Fiverr lined up and I gotta say they are the highest level of modeling I've ever seen. And here guys, this is where it ends. We've reached peak, can't get any higher quality than this. Now his calling card is three quality poses. And I'm gonna break these down for you guys because I need you to understand them. First of all, we've got him sipping a nice Starbucks. You won't find this at Fashion Week, all right? This is high level stuff, all right? This is beyond that. He's got the he's got the straw going in the corner of his mouth because, you know, he's too cool to have it go right in the center like a normal fucking person. So that really, really pulls this photo together in my opinion. The next pose is a little bit more advanced. This is depicting the moment when you are stopped on a sidewalk on a bike and you just kind of look up at the sky, just kind of look cool, you know, like models do. Now this last photo is the most advanced in my opinion because this is depicting when you go to the park and you use your bike as a pillow. I mean, who doesn't like to go to the park and just lay back on the sharp metal corners and chain of a mountain bike? Ah, come on! It's basically second to a pillow. I mean, why lay on the grass when you have a nice soft bike right there at your disposal, you know? Beats me. Beats me. I will be your male model. Now, we've got another model here, all right? And he's, he's freaking cool. He's cool. I mean, check this photo out. Are you kidding me? He's standing there with a sleeveless shirt on, looking like a freaking snack, spinning a basketball, come on. I don't know if he's actually succeeding at spinning. It looks like it's pretty much about to fall off his hand, but still, he will model to be a basketball player for your freaking advertisement, dude. For some of the more niche audiences, we have this advertisement campaign that he did for Dove, showing consumers how to properly apply their lotion to your face. I mean, come on, look at that face. I mean, don't you wanna just lather fucking lotion all over your face now. I don't even know why this guy's on Fiverr. I would have expected that he would have been signed by like Ford Models or something. Modeling like Gucci lotion. 
Gucci Gucci moisturizer at some point. He should be on the Gucci line. Give him some Versace with that lotion, you stupid fools. What I like the most about this gig as well is that he leaves a wonderful message for us at the end, and that is, thank you to visit me. I will send a telepathic message to control mind. Yes! I love these. These are my favorite gigs. They make absolutely no sense. Hey, do you want someone to be controlled by you? Do you want someone to love you? Do you want someone to clear some kind of thoughts? Maybe an assault? Do you want someone to be ruled by you? I know I do. This telepathic message will send signal to persons to the person's mind and would make him do so. Manifestation time will be generally 50 to 60 days. Two months. This gig is so fantastic. People buy into this. People are really buying this gig a lot. 103 times. The gig itself costs just $10, but he's also got like all of these extra 10 times manifestation time, 30 to 35 days. Bump it up to three times that amount. 20 times man, like $60. One final one that's like $90. The weirdest part about this too is that there's no negative reviews. How can you claim that you're sending telepathic messages, claiming that you can get someone to be ruled by you and then not get any people who are like, ah, oh, this didn't work. I think most of these people are giving a five-star review right after the person says, all right, I sent the message, now just wait two months. They're not like waiting to see if it worked. I will draw 3D paper craft pattern in tutorial crafting. Let's check out the example for this. Furry arts and crafts. Great, we need more of that. I will have Shaggy from Scooby-Doo say something you request. He writes a whole paragraph, first explaining what Shaggy is or who he is. And then he starts saying that he's come up with a nearly identical Shaggy impression, sure to blow you and your friends away. He also offers a bundle called the Shaggy-tastic voice bundle. Bad name for a bundle. His only example on this Fiverr is just a screenshot of Shaggy. There's no audio recording, you idiot. Why would you think there'd be an audio recording? It's not like he needs to prove that he can actually do the voice before you spend money on him. That's not how business works. He's playing his cards. He's got a full house. He's playing his cards, and you're falling behind. I will impersonate Donald Trump for you. Hello there, it's active Rog Trump here with an exclusive Fiverr gig. Uh oh. I can impersonate the US President Donald Trump. Can you? And say anything you want me to say. Just send me a script of what you want me to say. It's just $5 per 40 words and choose the background you would like. That is probably the worst Donald Trump impression I've ever seen. So he found a wig, he has a suit, and he can make his face go like this. That's where the impression ends. When he starts talking, everything shatters. Everything's ruined. It's like he doesn't change his native accent at all. This guy's clearly Australian. He's just kind of like mushing his voice together with his lips. It's active Rog here with a new five gig impersonating Donald Trump. Just send me a script of what you want me to see. What you want me to see. There's also some interesting parts of the frequently asked questions. I'd like to highlight the specific one. Can I be asked to make fun of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un? And to that he answers, yes. Look at him. Looks like a complete tosser and a ah! f with that haircut. You bet I'll be a lot more happy to help you take the piss of that tool of a guy. Lol. What? That's on your Fiverr gig. That's on your page. You're just saying that. Were that many people really asking that you needed to clarify that you didn't like Kim Jong-un? I will get gunged and slimed for you. This is Fiverr Filth Art. If Fiverr had a Louvre, this is where the Mona Lisa would be. This gig is quite literally a woman who is dumping a bowl of custard over her head for money online. That's the whole premise. I'll take a bowl of custard over my head for you. Smiley face with a nose. Very suspicious. I gotta say, whenever someone puts a smiley face with a nose, I immediately do not trust that person. That person is dangerous. That person is not to be trusted. Because then you have shit like this. They've got a whole bowl of custard and they're putting over their head online. Case in point, custard bowl, gunged and slimed. She also offers different types of gunge and I hate, hate, hate that she is using the word gunge 
That's the worst word you could use in this situation, and you went ahead and used it, and you're a demon because of it, lady. If you'd like to see more gunge, or different types of gunge, feel free to drop me a message to discuss. There's a lot more fun, messy things out here than custard. Hee hee. Why'd you put the hee hee? Never a good idea to put the hee hee. I, I looked up the word gunge because I hadn't heard the word gunge in a really long time. And it turns out I'm pretty sure that gunging kind of sexual thing. And uh, that's the whole bit. That's the whole reason why this exists, I'm pretty sure. We got her looking like de demonic custard ghost. There's also one photo of her with a shit ton of um, crap in her hair and what looks like maybe a home office. Looks like there's two Macs in the background or something. Maybe even her real office. After hours gunging, you might call it. A way to relax after a long, w long work day. After hours gunging. Her profile photo is Hellscape from Another Dimension, let's just get that straight. It's the worst. This looks like something I'd see before I die. The description of her gig is no better. Um, it is titled Gunged For You. Hate that. You've also got an option to add some pies. Don't know why. I think all of these people watched Nickelodeon in the 90s, and they got some weird fetish from it. This is the Fiverr filth. So that's going to be it for Fiverrville today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, make sure you like it. And please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications if you haven't already. You can also check out our Discord in the link below. You can join that to talk with other people who follow the channel. And I'll catch you guys around the block. And I'll, and I'll, hey, hey you know. Hey, no, no, no.